Thomson's model of the atom, also known as the plum pudding model, was proposed by J. J. Thomson in 1904. At that time, it was believed that atoms were the smallest indivisible particles and could not be further subdivided. Thomson's model suggested that atoms were made up of a positively charged sphere of matter, with negatively charged electrons embedded within it like plums in a pudding. In other words, the atom was thought to be a uniform mixture of positive and negative charges. Thomson's model was based on his discovery of the electron in 1897, which he showed was a constituent of all matter. He also knew that atoms were electrically neutral, so he proposed that the negatively charged electrons were evenly distributed throughout the positively charged sphere, resulting in an overall neutral charge for the atom. While Thomson's model was a significant step forward in understanding the structure of the atom, it was later found to be incorrect. Further experiments, such as the gold foil experiment conducted by Ernest Rutherford in 1911, showed that the atom had a small, dense, positively charged nucleus at its center, surrounded by negatively charged electrons in orbit. Thomson's model of the atom, also known as the plum pudding model, was a significant step in our understanding of atomic structure, but it had some significant failures, which led to its eventual replacement by the Rutherford model failed to explain the stability of the atom, failed to account for the existence of isotopes, failed to explain the results of the alpha particle scattering experiment. In summary, Thomson's model of the atom was a significant step in our understanding of atomic structure, but it had some significant failures that ultimately led to its replacement by the Rutherford model. Rutherford's model of the atom, also known as the nuclear model, was proposed by physicist Ernest Rutherford in 1911. Prior to this model, it was believed that atoms were uniformly distributed spheres of positive charge with electrons distributed throughout. In Rutherford's model, the atom consists of a small, positively charged nucleus at the center, surrounded by negatively charged electrons orbiting the nucleus. The nucleus contains most of the atom's mass and is made up of protons and neutrons. Rutherford's model was based on the results of his famous gold foil experiment, in which he bombarded a thin sheet of gold foil with positively charged alpha particles. Most of the alpha particles passed through the foil without being deflected, but a small fraction were scattered at large angles, indicating that they had encountered a small, positively charged nucleus. The Rutherford model of the atom was a significant breakthrough in the understanding of atomic structure and laid the foundation for later discoveries about the nature of subatomic particles. However, it was later found to have limitations and was superseded by more sophisticated models, such as the Bohr model and the quantum mechanical model. Failures of Rutherford's model of the atom While Rutherford's model of the atom was groundbreaking at the time, it did have some significant limitations and failures. Some of the major limitations include 1. Stability of the atom. According to classical electromagnetic theory, a charged particle moving in a circular orbit should continuously lose energy and spiral into the nucleus. This would lead to the collapse of the atom. However, experiments showed that atoms were stable and did not collapse. 2. Atomic spectra. The Rutherford model could not explain the atomic spectra which were observed when atoms were heated or excited by an external source of energy. According to the model, electrons should emit a continuous spectrum of radiation as they spiral into the nucleus. But experiments showed that only specific wavelengths of radiation were emitted. 3. Chemical bonding. The Rutherford model could not explain how atoms form chemical bonds. According to the model, electrons in the atom were in fixed orbits around the nucleus, which should make it impossible for atoms to form bonds with other atoms. Due to these limitations, the Rutherford model was later replaced by more sophisticated models such as the Bohr model and the quantum mechanical model, which were able to explain the behavior of atoms more accurately. Bohr's Postulates of the Hydrogen Atom Bohr's postulates of the hydrogen atom were proposed by the Danish physicist Niels Bohr in 1913. They are as follows. 1. 
an electron moves round the nucleus of an atom under the influence of Coulomb or electrostatic force of attraction between the electron and the nucleus. 2. An electron moves in series of selected or allowed orbits satisfying the condition that, the angular momentum is an integral multiple of the quantity nh divided by 2 pi, where n is a quantum number and h is Planck's constant. 3. In the selected or an allowed orbit, the electron is stable that is, it does not give out energy even though it undergoes acceleration. 4. The electron does not emit radiation while in a stationary state. However, when it moves from one energy level to another energy level, it emits or absorbs radiation with a frequency given by the equation increment E equals HF, where increment E is the energy difference between the two levels and F is the frequency of the emitted or absorbed radiation. These postulates were a major breakthrough in the understanding of atomic structure and laid the foundation for the development of quantum mechanics. They also helped explain the spectral lines observed in hydrogen emission spectra, which were previously unexplainable by classical physics. Limitations of Bohr's Theory Bohr's atomic model was a significant breakthrough in the understanding of the structure of the atom. However, it had several limitations that were later addressed by more advanced theories. Some of the limitations of Bohr's atomic theory are 1. It was only applicable to hydrogen-like atoms. Bohr's model was only valid for atoms with one electron, such as hydrogen, and other elements that had only one electron in their outermost shell. 2. It did not explain the wave-particle duality of matter. Bohr's model treated electrons as particles and did not account for the wave-like behavior of electrons, which was explained by quantum mechanics. 3. It did not account for the magnetic moment of atoms. Bohr's model did not take into account the magnetic moment of atoms, which was explained by the electron spin and its magnetic field. In summary, Bohr's atomic model was a significant advancement in the understanding of the atom, but it had limitations that were addressed by more advanced theories, such as quantum mechanics.